shit. That was hectic. That's one of the sickest sessions I've had. So I've been working on you. Yeah, good. Dolphins on the bow. Going down to 800 or 1500, just keep going. So, we're going to jump into a couple of drifts, see how we go. We'll see you soon with some big fish, brother. At our first spot, we were greeted with beautiful clear water, and it wasn't long until a Spanish mackerel came sniffing up the chum trail. It was Chad's turn to make his dive and landed a good shot between the two petrol fins. It's then all hands on deck and there's heaps of teamwork involved in landing these big blue water fish. A couple of guys grab on the float line and try and get the fish up away from the sharks while another diver breathes up, goes down and takes a second shot, ending this fight, dispatching it as quick as we can. Fuck yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo! yeah. That's a good fish! Yeah. Girl, Chad, what happened, mate? My mate, you come in twice, me and Ray both dove on it. Yeah. And then we spooked it a little and I thought that was it, got back to the surface and then just come in again. Didn't get much of a breathe up, thought it was too deep, but yeah, smacked it in the end and the boys helped land it, so happy days. Now this shows why the teamwork is so important when blue water spearfishing. Here's a mackerel about a similar size that were too slow to get up and the sharks just turned into a sharknado and absolutely vaporised it. It's a pretty quick reminder as to who's the top of the food chain down here. Returning to base camp after a pretty wild afternoon on the water. We had uh, had cracks at big dog tooth tuna and Spanish mackerel today. We landed some fish, but there's a few broken hearts, so hopefully tomorrow the boys get a uh, crack at that fish of a lifetime. Mainly my heart's broken the most. <laughs> How's your day, Ed? I'm having a great day, I'm really loving it, but there's some quite spectacular tales of the one that got away. <laughs> what do you got there, big balls? Woo! Spin on the all about. Bro. Woo! Aha. All the fresh fish is then shared with the local village, and we have a hell of a feast. morning of another day on our Pacific Island tour and the weather's looking quite fine it's the calmest day we've had but today is the day it's not the day the teddy bears have their picnic today is the day we go to the widest best seamount there is out that way and no one's ever dove there before a couple of guys have game fished there before reports of big marlin dog tooth tuna wahoo sailfish you name it it's uh, basically just the land of the sea monsters so we're super keen to get out there it doesn't get dark till about 8 o'clock at night here, so we can have sort of 12 hours underwater, which gives us a pretty good chance to run into a few big dogs today. I'm finally calm enough to share one of the most heartbreaking moments I've had underwater yesterday. So we we're spearing, a big Mackie came in, like three times the size of the one we'd landed earlier that day. It would have been 25, 30 kilograms. It was a monster. Came in ropes one of the boys put a great shot in it he did a great dive the mackie came around on him everyone was watching in crystal clear water he shot the mackerel it took off and then just all hell breaks loose it's pulling floats under dragging guys around i had a real gun so my job is then to swim down and put a second shot in the fish finishing the fight and bringing it away from the sharks and sort of wrapping up the whole fight didn't quite work like that so i um Took a bit of a breath. Once the fish come close enough to the surface, we thought beauty is getting tired, it's time to end this battle. I swam down with a real gun to put a second shot in. Lined him up, but he still had a heap of fight in him. He just didn't want to go down. 
So he was kicking, kicking, and I was running out of breath. And then I've lined up for the second shot in the head, taken the shot, and then it's peeled a bit of line off my real gun. Like it still had a heap of go about it. it, just took off. The shot didn't kill it. But what happened next, I still was so confused how it happened. Basically, the fish took off, and then my shaft just went slack, and the float line that was on the fish just went slack, and the fish swam off with two spears hanging out of it. We were like, how does that even happen? And as I was swimming back to the top, I just didn't want to get to the surface because there was five blokes there that were cheering, thought we had that fish in the bag. And then I go down for a second the shot and the fish swims away. Like, that was the fish we've been swimming and looking for for about four days now. And to have it so close, the boys were cheering. We were celebrating. We thought we had it. We we're thinking of the photos we're going to take with it, how we're going to feed the whole village with it. And then that happened. I still don't know how to explain it, but it was honestly heartbreaking. I couldn't even, couldn't even explain to the camera yesterday how bad it was. So yeah, I guess shit happens. Um, there's always a bigger fish. So today's the day. <laughs> After a few days of dud weather, it had finally cleared up enough for us to head out and dive some of the spots that we thought were our best chance for some big pelagic fish. Captain here for the last 30 years and he says we're the only people mad enough to have ever come out and dove this spot. Nerves are high, excitement levels high, we're not sure what we're in for, but that's why we come to these trips, that's why we're in the Pacific Islands. It's coming up now boys. Okay, this next session, I'm sure me just talking you through it doesn't do it the justice it deserves, but it was insane. Hands down one of the best blue water sessions we've ever had. And hopefully this allows you to relive some of it with me. So it started when Roper, one of the boys, shot a beautiful Mate, green shot, dogfish mate. on the drift. I noticed down below him was some big dog tooth tuna. You can see them from the telltale oh, white oh, spot on their oh. tail. The other boys haven't had a chance to land a dog tooth tuna yet, so I'm super keen for them to have a crack at one. As I'm swimming down, I see some monsters down in the depths. But they're too deep. So one of the techniques we use to bring the big fish up shallower is we shoot a smaller fish to cause a heap of commotion. So I take a shot on this Spanish mackerel, a beautiful fish in its own right, but it now becomes the bait for those bigger dog tooth tuna to hopefully come up shallower. On my way back to the surface, I'm pointing out the big doggies down deep so the guys on the surface can see them. In the commotion, there's some big sharks chasing around my Spanish mackerel and just keeping it out of their reach. And the amount of commotion going on down there, I know those big doggies can't resist for too much longer and they're going to come up and have a look. Oi, big doggies coming up. Big doggies coming up. Sure enough, the school comes up and one peels off towards our flasher. Chad's right onto it and swims down to line up the shot. This isn't the big ones that I saw down in the depths, but still dog tooth tuna are our number one target species, and this is a prized fish regardless. And Chad lets the shot fly. You can immediately see how much power these fish have got as Az does his best to grab onto a float and try and pull this fish up. Now this is where all hell breaks loose with blue water spearfishing. Get on it, Chad! Get on him! I'll get my Spanish mackerel up to dispatch it as quickly as I can. <laughs> and now it's Az's turn to swim down and take the second shot on Chad's tuna. The dog tooth tuna is the pinnacle species of spearfishing. People dream about landing these fish for years. And when that dream finally becomes a reality, the level of stoke just bubbles up to a head and completely overflows. Yeah! <laughs> 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 There's a couple of donkeys down there, eh? Hey? 
morning here there was some bigger doggies hanging around so we had to get a bit more commotion going. Both the locals and the doggies love eating these surgeon fish so they're a good option. Once again I do what we call walk the dog and let him swim around in the depths there. This worked absolutely instantly as I see a couple of big shadows come staunching up out of the depths and ropes head straight down for him. As and Chad are still in the middle of dispatching the first dog tooth tuna when I yell out to him. This once again shows how much teamwork goes into a successful blue water spearfishing. Almost instantly, as is onto the float line, as you can hear the shot being taken. This fish takes off with some serious power. I mean, he'd pull Thorpey in his prime backward, as does his best to keep a hold of the floats, but this fish has just got too much power. And these two floats and a bungee in between just disappear into the depths. The dudes are doing an absolute shit show, and at the worst time, as loses one of his flippers. You really can't prepare for moments like this. Both the floats are getting pulled under, just flapping like a flag in the wind. This is where you're just hoping that they come back to the surface. The Adreno floats have done their job. They've taken the power out of that first run of the doggy, come back to the surface. Now we can use a bit of manpower to try and get this fish out. It's about at this point I realised that I need to take a second shot on this big doggy and I'm having PTSD flashbacks of the fish we lost yesterday. I've got about 30 metres of line out and a surgeon fish kicking around on the end of my spear. I quickly get that in, dispatch of the surgeon fish as quick as I can and try to reload the gun. As I swim down, I'm thinking, this is Bryden's fish of a lifetime. This is the reason he's come on the B2B Pacific Tour. I can't stuff this up. My eyes get distracted with all the other doggies behind it. I line it up, take the shot, and thankfully it hits it right at the sweet spot and puts his lights out. This moment right here is why Az and I love what we do. Watching someone land a fish of their dreams, just nothing else compares. Up in, mate. <laughs> Coming to you live, we've just had a pretty hot session. What's happened here, bro? Let's talk us uh, through it, brother. <laughs> we hit the jackpot, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Uh, How's it going? Yeah, that one. one for something. Yeah. Oh, boys. Well done. That first, first dog tooth. First dog tooth. Hold him up there, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Oh, mate. That's what money, a mate. fish. Uh, what a fish. So thanks for watching. On the next episode, the fish keep getting bigger and bigger and the stoke keeps launching higher and higher. Subscribe now so you can get that as soon as it comes out. Hit the like button, share it with your mates. We'll see you next time.